Hello there everyone! First of all, I want to thank you guys for just have subscribed and supporting my channel. I know that most of you guys are here because of my Blue Index series. Check in the comments, I know that most of you guys are asking like, when am I going to update or what took me so long? So here's my explanation. The reason why I haven't updated for so long is because I have finally become a college student. Yay! So basically your girl right here is trying to get her degree soon. And I didn't expect that my time in college will took me so much, so I starting to abandon my YouTube channel to focus on my studies. Because maybe some of you don't know that I see YouTube as something like a hobby, it's not actually my real job because not gonna lie, the payment is not actually that much. And another thing is that the Villain Deku series isn't supposed to have parts in the first place. After I post the first part, uh, and on the time that Midoriya suddenly traveled to another world and met his villain version, it's supposed to stop right there. But then my former housemate, she was like, "Can I get a, Can I get an update?" After that, all my friends who know I have a YouTube channel, they were like, "Hey, we want a continuation." So because of them, that is the reason why I created the series in the first place. And thanks to that, thanks to the uh, villain Deku series that I created. The, my channel finally find a growth. It's only like grew unexpectedly. So, so basically, like my YouTube page used to have like only like ten subscriber or twelve, but suddenly like when I opened back my YouTube channel, I found that I have like four thousand something subscriber. I was like, I was actually quite surprised, you know. So actually, here's the main thing I actually want to tell you guys. To be truthful, after months, year. Um, I have been taught in college about drawing human figure, perspective, color, shadows. Um, if you guys have watched my recent video, you will have seen that my art style has changed dramatically. Because I finally start to learn how to draw the wrinkles and uh, more of the shadow and stuff. So basically, in my next semester, we will start learning how to draw backgrounds. So basically, my art will keep improving time and time again as I keep studying which is why I want to inform you guys that um, I have actually decided to redraw the whole thing so for those who have read and watched my YouTube video from part 1 to part 7 I have been planning to redraw the whole thing again because after I watched back my own videos I was like oh my god it's so ugly yeah so basically, no, I want to tell you guys like the most of the character that you have guys have seen, they will, I will start changing some of their appearance and their clothing design because I find that the design that I created for them looks lazy, or should I say, looks ugly. Um, <laughs> the thing that I'm most not satisfied is the Todoroki design. If you guys have seen his clothes, it's it looks so simple. It looks. I have no idea why I draw that on him. So basically, um, Todoroki, Uraraka, and all the characters I've created in my Dojinshu, I will change all of their costume design. Um, especially Villain Deku. The reason why I draw Villain Deku with uh, black vest, uh, white t-shirt, and black tie because uh, when Villain Deku suddenly gone viral in Twitter, Instagram, and such, everyone, most of the fan arts usually draw him in that kind of style. But when I start to think about it again, I was like, it doesn't suit him, it's like, okay, if Deku actually turns to villain, will he actually wear something like that? I feel like that doesn't suit his style, style at all, so yeah, I'm going to change that. And the, mo the, the thing that I'm most not satisfied with my series is the design of the building. When I look back at it, I was like, oh my god, what, uh, what have I been doing? I mean... Uh, the walls, the window, it doesn't look like something a villain will try to hide in because uh, you guys might not know but, um, I tried to draw them in a secret hideout, something that looks cool, something dark but my design doesn't look that dark it looks like something that you want to live in or something you want to like plan a evil scheme or something so basically yeah, I'm going to redraw the whole thing, the buildings, the clothes the characters, the hairstyle, yes, actually the hairstyle because the truth is the when the villain Deku series started, it's supposed to take in it's supposed to start somewhere in the future. 
So basically, villain Deku is actually a few years older than me, than the real Deku. So he's supposed to be in. So they're supposed to be young adults. So I'm going to do something, but so the hairstyle has to change and their um, body figure and stuff like that. So that's why if you guys have seen clearly about the part when Deku and the villain Deku are having discussion inside the room, you'll see that the villain Deku is actually a bit taller because I intended him to be older. So yeah. So basically, after I read the manga, the real Boku no Hero Academia manga, I feel like, oh my god, I have to change so many things because um, Shigaraki, I didn't realize Shigaraki power has like change a bit because Shigaraki is supposed to appear in my Dojinshi later on but this space probably to be I don't think any spoiler but <laughs> I didn't realize Shigaraki is actually very, very much powerful as Tarius I know that some of you guys have messaged me in Instagram before bef um, before I put it in private that some of you guys want to help want to help me update the comic but first, first of all I just want to say sincerely like thank you so much for you guys help really thank you thank you but i i realized that most of my viewers are still young so i don't want to say anything bad no 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 this is not offended i just want to give it advice just keep practicing what you guys are drawing keep improving because my drawing is also like that in few years ago so just keep improving until you guys are once you're <laughs> okay just what i want to say is like once your drawing has improved okay Help me, yes, please. I need your help. But for now, just keep practicing because I'm I'm actually quite happy that some of you guys are actually offering your help. But I cannot take it because our drawing is not compatible yet. For example, I realized that most of you guys drawing and coloring is not in my level yet. No, I'm not saying I'm a pro or anything. My drawing my drawing sucks. But you know what I want to say? No, no offense. Nah. Okay, forget what I say. So just keep practicing, I'm cheering you on, and I'll be waiting for you, please help me. <laughs> so I shall be updating my villain Deku once again, maybe around March or April, around somewhere around that time. I shall be redoing the whole part, part 1 till, until part 7, I'll keep updating more and more. I was actually thinking of actually giving you guys a new version, something like animatic, but once again it will take too much time. I was even planning to post my fanfic in youtube i don't know like it'll be too boring so i yeah i just try but the truth is i already plan what season one will be how it will looks like so to give you guys a spoiler um uh shinso will appear in the villain deku comic and he will create some kind of bonding with deku because i want deku to have like something of friendship something to keep him alive in that dark world that he's that he's got transparent and the mysterious girl character that put Midoriya character inside the another world she's actually something like a neutral side okay you guys will know her about her more um because i'm still redesigning her character because i realized that um her clothes is kind of ugly or something too simple so yeah i'm still trying to get some help about cos costume design because i suck at it and about the building and the rumors and such, I will completely change it because, as I said before, I want to look, I want it to look more like an evil beast. And I also want to change the lighting, coloring, and such because I realized I make it too bright. This is not something that I want. I want something to look like what anime is it again? Ah, Overlord. I want it to look something like Overlord when they're having like kind of meeting. It looks dark. It looks scary. I want something like that. So, okay, I don't know much to talk about. So, basically, my announcement is only like that. I want to read you and the update. Oh, yes, the update. Um, okay, some of you guys have been asking me from a year ago. They want to know who is the strongest in the villain deck universe. So, basically, maybe in my next video, I will start posting from rank 1 to rank 10. Who's the strongest in the villain deck world? So, basically, most of you guys already know that Bakugo is the first first and turkey is second because more and more characters are starting to add up in or should i say more characters start appearing in the villain deku series uh, wait in the real the in the real manga so basically some of them might change i actually plan to put momo um 
I don't know how to pron I don't know how to pronounce the family name. She actually supposed to be like one of the most powerful, but I realized that her brain is the one that makes her a genius in the battlefield. So she actually supposed to uh, be put in a trip rank. But then I was like, ah, uh, Dabi can be put there. So basically, the first part goes to Bakugo, second part goes to Doroki, and the third part goes to Dabi. But as I said before, the rank will change later on in the future. Because I think Dabi should go a bit down because there's a huge story that he might be a Todoroki family and uh, he might be, uh, what's his name again? Toya. And in the war has mentioned before that Toya has some kind of like sickness that his mother has so Dabi rank might go lower if the theory proved correct. Because I, because I was actually planned to make Dabi overpower or something but then I was like, mm, maybe later. And Toga, she won't be put in the rank because, as you guys know, she's like a copycat. She, uh, I don't want to give much spoiler, but I don't want to put Toga in the copy, um, because, how should I say it? Yeah, she does can fight, but if she doesn't use her power, she's like only flexible fighting something like the someone from the Incredibles. Okay, you guys might have seen that I don't know what to talk about anymore because my strip is not that long and Okay, my drawing is almost finished anyway So basically I was actually planning to actually draw a new comic But then my friend advised me to finish the current one first before you plan to do new project which is Okay, maybe if you guys have followed me in webtoon, I'm not actually the type that finish the comic first I just like, okay, I got a new idea, I drop it, then I bend it and make a new one That's that's the kind of person I am. Please don't be like me. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? What am I talking about? So yeah, something like that. But if you guys are good in coloring, I would really, really like if you guys message me. Um, so I'm not actually that active in social media, so I will try to change that. And the reason why I created my Instagram private is that because some people with a uh, very inappropriate picture start private message me or something and I was like that is so uncomfortable because of their profile picture I was like if it's the picture of enemy or yourself okay it's okay but yeah it's, social media is a weird world I mean like it's so weird I don't think they know if I'm a girl or not oh by the way um for those of you guys who keep questioning me like are you a girl are you a girl yes I am a girl I didn't um if you guys ask for a face reveal in the future, I will do it once I get like 1 million subscribers. So for now, just just try to believe I'm a girl, okay? Okay, what else to say? Um, so by the way, to because this is January, I will just want to say Happy Chinese New Year to all my Chinese audience. And to everyone else, Happy Holiday. And I hope that 2020 will be the best year for you guys. Because I hope it will be for me. Because I just hope I will get a good result in the future and I will get a job or something. Because I, um, for those who does not know, in, I think I'm actually taking animation degree right now. So I hope to become an animator in the future or a manga artist, who knows. And if I get a priority, I go to Japan or something. So, <laughs> Okay, I'm starting to babbling. So, goodbye guys. Have a good holiday.